Nick knows all about mics. I do. I've he, used a microphone before. He knows all about instruments of all kinds because Nick is launching Rock Band 4. Yes. Yeah. How fun is that? It's awesome. It's been great. You know, it's been it's been a couple of years since Harmonix. I work at Harmonix. Yeah. Has released a Rock Band game. Um, it's been kind of dormant for a while. Um, you know, we've been you know paying attention to what people have been doing with the game and playing it over 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 time. And the, you know, the fan base has just kind of been rabid and asking us to make a new Rock Band game for years and right. years. Um, it sort of got really really loud as the new consoles came out. You know, Xbox One and PlayStation Four launched, and you can't play Rock Band Three on those new consoles. You there's no experience like it. Right. It doesn't exist. And we think it's really important and really really like it's just like. It's, it's a really powerful experience actually play music with your friends. And that, that mechanic, playing with your friends, was one of the most fun things to me about The Last Generation. I'm very excited for it to come back. The game is obviously bringing some new features and some new things yeah. to the table. You can now solo by yourself. Yeah, totally yeah, right. absolutely. So tell I, us about all yeah, that. Yeah, so all the, you know, the, the, the experience of playing Rock Band has always been about like the beat match. You know, you play along with the music that you know and that you love. The notes come down the screen, you press the button at the right time, and you strum. And that feeling of, of playing the music, I think we got through with that. You know, you feel like you're in a band. You feel like you're, you're up on stage, you're playing music with your friends, but you're really not making music. You're just sort of like following the notes on the screen. So what we want to do with Rock Band 4 was actually bring a level of personal expression for every player you know, in the band. Because musicians, when they play music, they don't play the same thing every time. They right. improvise. They go off script. Unless they're Rush. Unless they're Rush. They play note for note the same thing every time. Neil's a guy. Exactly. Exactly. So. You know, but, you know, somebody, you know, you play the same song 150 times. You know, yeah. sometimes it's fun to go off script a little bit. Sure. So with freestyle guitar solos, it's a totally new uh, gameplay that we've actually created that turns the guitar controller into basically an instrument and lets people who have no knowledge of how to play guitar, and that's, that's what's rock band is all about you don't need to play music be able to play music right. it's a fantasy it, it turns this entire controller into an instrument that lets you make your own guitar solo sound awesome. like a total rock out it feels super duper good you just press some buttons and cool stuff happens uh, there's a lot of nuance and depth there so if you're get good if you get good at the system you can make some really really awesome things but even if you're you know if you're a, a baby or somebody's grandma and you never played before put the controller in your hands and you feel you know like you're Jimi hendrix like you're pick Van up Halen. the controller grandma and feel like Jimi yes. hendrix yeah speaking of Jimi hendrix one of many people who have songs in rock band how what what is the song count i mean it's like ridiculous it's a lot of music so the disc itself comes with over 60 songs new tracks to rock band for music from avenge sevenfold saint vincent uh we got van halen on there um a whole bunch of cool queens of the stone age um uptown funk by with bruno mars and mark ronson just nice. cool stuff like that but we're also bringing back the old back catalog as well we released over 1700 songs for the last generation of consoles we're bringing that stuff all the way over uh to the new platforms it's going to be a ton of music on the music store if you bought that stuff on pre previous consoles you can just re-download it for free on the new console oh, nice. so you have your music library you invested in it we want you to use it and that new stuff has all the new features the freestyle guitar solos um, which we talked about earlier the freestyle vocals which lets you sort of go off script and sing what you want we know it notes you're singing, uh, which is really cool for advanced singers. And we're, we're really excited about our music library. What is Harmonix doing? What is your all's perception of this movement and how it can be leveraged? Um, you know, the in, uh, Influencer Orchestration Network, who's sponsoring our stream, is all about connecting brands with those influencers uh -huh. and those those fans. So what, what type of data are you looking for? How do you measure success in that type of stuff uh, in terms of having your community actually playing and showing off the game on a service like Twitch? Yeah, I mean, so it's interesting. You know, we haven't launched the game yet, so we haven't really been able to do much streaming. There's already people streaming the earlier games, you know, Rock Band 3, there's people still up there. Um, they stream it, you know, competitively. People are really, really good. You like to see expert players sort of getting through those tough charts and, and getting through it. Watching somebody play Rock Band and be really good at Rock Band is actually pretty powerful and like really compelling. Uh, you know, we're, we're planning to, you know, support Twitch streaming on both of the consoles, obviously. Um, I think watching people play Rock Band is really, really powerful, and finding influencers, finding streamers who are motivated to get in a room with their friends or other streamers. People love seeing these personalities sort of interact with one another. That doing that in like a rock band setting, in a setting where people are sort of like playing off each other and sort of having fun, I think it's going to be really, really powerful for both viewers and for influencers to get sort of people engaged too. And there's a lot of stuff that we could actually do with the game um, that, that to get people engaged. And you know, we're not shipping with a lot of that functionality, but the way we're looking at Rock Band is that we're going to sort of build it over time. We're not shipping Rock Band five in six months or even next year. We're going to build on the core functionality of the game, add features to it, and a lot of that will be seeing how influencers are using the game, how people are watching the game, and how they're interacting with it, and adding cool stuff to the game to sort of like enhance that experience. Yes, because uh, launching a game is just the beginning now, as we were just talking to Wargaming about. Yeah. But uh, Nick used to be on the opposite side of the fence on my yep. side over at Destructoid. When you had longer hair. When I had longer hair. I just <laughs> cut it off last week. I used to have the man bun. I almost didn't recognize you. Yeah, I know. I went anti-man bun for now. It's yep. going to come back, That's but fine. these things need change. And uh, I also, I look like one of the zombies from H1Z1 because my eyes all red. Hey, it's all good. It's fine. I'm just going to back, I'm no, going to go here. No, it's fine. No, it's allergies, fine. dude. No, okay. No, it's fine. Dude, 
It's, it's fine. allergies. It's fine. So anyway, <laughs> uh, anyway, so what I was saying about you know being on the media side, the landscape of how content and how community is built has completely shifted. Yep. Since you used to work on our side of the fence, and um, so from the from the, the standpoint at Harmonix, you know, how much weight is placed on that? Because it's it's a big big deal now to make sure that that community is built, not just built but built well. Yeah, no, it's actually really important for us. It's important for us to sort of like, you know, a lot of these streamers, they're just fans of games. That's what they do. They play the games because they love the games. They don't play it, you know, it's not, for some of them, it's not a job. It has become a job for some of them, but it's not. They play right. games for the love of the game. They love interacting with people. They love interacting with the games. And for us, it's just really important to like engage with them. We've always been really engaged with our community. And now the fact that our community is actually out there, they're influencers, they're Twitch partners. That's like really, really cool for us. And that's something we look forward to taking advantage of. We're bringing a bunch of, you know, Twitch streamers out to our studio next week. They're going to be streaming the game from, from you know, live. From from our office, and we're just gonna have so much fun with that. And, and so we're really looking at ways, to sort of like you know, get involved. Will there will there be beer? Say that again. Will there be beer? At there this will event? always be beer. There will always yeah. be beer. You can go to sleep knowing tonight from Nick Chester himself of Harmonics. There will always be. I mean, you beer. don't need to drink beer to have fun playing rock band. No, I'm, it doesn't hurt if you drink a little bit and play rock band. It doesn't that was, hurt. We used to have our friends over and people who never played games. We just have the best time. I love the Beatles rock band. Yep, that was like my favorite thing. Yeah. Uh, but uh, and I would always try to do the Rush stuff, and people would try to understand why I love Rush so much. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I, rock band is, should be a welcoming experience. We yeah. try to make it, you know, open for a lot of different kinds of players of different skill levels. Exactly. Like a young kid to an expert gamer to a hardcore gamer to their grandmother, and the fact that all of them can play together at their yeah. own difficulty level and their own pace is just super duper awesome for us. We just it we is. want to be welcoming to all kinds of players. Well, so good to run into you here at Twitch, man. Yeah. The Twitch Con. Absolutely. And, uh, best of luck with the launch. It's October sixth. October sixth. Yeah. Very very soon. PS4, Xbox One. Check yep, out absolutely. guitar uh, rockband.com. Right. Yeah. Rockband uh, four .com or rockband.com. Right, yeah. Perfect. All right. Good to see you, hey, buddy. Thanks, Daniel. All right. Thanks All right, a take lot. It easy.